Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the best new UX or UI design tools for 2024. So right now, as you can see, I have a lot of tabs here. I think there are 7 or 8. So I'm going to give you a bonus tab or bonus list later on at the end of the video. So please stay until the end. So let's get started with Figbury or Figbrary. It's much like February because this is a collaboration of Figma. That's why we have Fig on the first word for Figma and then Brary for the month today. Right now, this is technically giving you challenges for the whole month. Basically, you can design challenges here that can keep you on your toes, keep you updated or keep your mental health very good on point throughout the month. That is the idea of Figbury. So we have all submissions here. This is going to be the website, so this should be the landing page you should be seeing on your end. Simply click on this button and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to discuss one of each on the next following video, but for now, let's just browse through them as we go on. So let us move on with the next website. So welcome to the next AI, it's going to be called Galileo AI. Right now, it is going to be the best generation for me regarding user interface. So I've tried a lot of user interface generation AI, and I think Galileo is top of the list. Already, let's just say top 5. So before we dwell into it, we have a few options here. On the light, right side or left side, sorry about that, we have Explore, Text to UI or Image to UI. So before we get into that, let's check some samples here. And much like any other AI tools, they have their templates or other samples from other creators. You'll see here, for example, this one right here. If I click on it right now, this is how it should look like. This is the prompt used to generate this one. Of course, you can also try it by simply clicking on that button and you'll be good to go. Now you might ask me, what is that Figma button right there? So if this button for Figma, generally if you click on it right now, it will copy the entire landing page on this exact product. And then as you can see here, open Figma and then control V or paste it. On the Figma editing platform and you can use it on Figma or configure it inside Figma. That's how efficient and easy how to use it, right? So for this one, let's try creating our own. I'm going to choose text to UI right now. Click on it and you'll have this option. So you can decide your design. You can choose web or mobile. I'm going to go for mobile for now. And for this one, I have some suggestive prompts there. I'm going to go with that one, so search tab music application, displaying a search bar at the top, followed by a grid view of music categories. With this on Galileo bot is working on the design, I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now I have three samples here, even though Galileo is still working on the design. So if I click on the first one to view it, you can check on it with this one that it is a very long interface. You can edit it on the platform itself, or again, you can copy it to Figma, like so. Again, if you choose that Figma button right there, you'll get to paste it on a Figma landing page. So if you're satisfied with this one, of course, you can save it after generation. And with that one, that is Galileo AI for you. So you can click on the Explore tab if you want to explore other creators, much like this one. You can try their templates if you want, but for now, I suggest creating your own to have that uniqueness, right? Anyway, let's move on with the next one. Since we're talking so much about Figma, let's go on this Twitter. Let me just give me a second here. So welcome back to the video. You might ask me that, how come we're talking about Figma inside Twitter? Because Figma right now has this update that is currently not yet rolled out to the public. That's why I want to show you how it works here. These are the main idea. It has an other layout, nested frames, multivariate components, gradients, and handle features. So we have here, if you check on it, you can animate it inside Figma itself. Remember the command button earlier inside Galileo? The copy button that you can copy from any software and transfer it directly to Figma. So if you're comfortable on using Figma right now, and then you want to use it there and design it there, you can use it on this new update. You can do everything inside Figma, especially if this is your main website. So basically, that's the idea there. So let's move on with the next one. So for the next one, we're going to call it AI for good. And it's actually one of the best compilers right now or one of the newest compilers of Shutterstock. 
So I have a video regarding Shutterstock, so please check it out. So Shutterstock is an affiliate website where you can sell your designs, submit your designs so other creators can use it. So this is a new website that can compete with Shutterstock. So please check it out. So let's move on with the next one. So for this one, we're going to call it Miro. So Miro is going to be the build the next big thing with one prompt, a chat, and a click with Miro Assist. Think of it as your assistant. However, it's an AI. So make your partner AI innovation now in beta. So it's still not on public face. It's still on beta face. And here how it works. You can generate a prompt, make a presentation, and then let Miro work on some magic. So think of it as a real life assistant. However, this is much smarter. This is much faster and really critical thinking. That is basically what Miro is. So again, these are the four main components. So everything in one space because you only have your computer to use. You're in control, enterprise grade security. Of course, we have data is not used in train models. And that is Miro for you. Let's move on with the next one. So this next one is just like the first website I told you about. Remember Figberry? We're in a collaboration of Figma regarding your daily task. This is much like it because this website create tasks for you or challenges for your day-to-day -day basics. So we will keep you on your toes, make your mental health sharper. Basically, that's the idea. So just select your challenge, add your email, and get the daily UI prompt in your email. Answer it, and then keep going until you feel comfortable on how skilled you are right now. That is going to be this website for you. Let's move on with the next one. So next one will be called Framer Experts. I know you're familiar with Framer. So Framer is a website where you can edit much like Figma or Canva. So Framer Expert is a website basically you can affiliate your designs. Much like this one right here, you'll see a lot of people selling their designs. If I click on this one right now, give me a second. You'll see exactly this creator named Fab Wave Colby, correct if I'm wrong though, has its design right here selling its skills that can help you. So converting ideas into digital products. That's the idea there. So let's go back to the landing page. So once you're here, you have two options. You can become an expert and verify its status. Basically become an expert and sign up. That is the idea there. And basically with that one, you can sell your stuff, your digital marketing or digital products if you may, once you sign up. And that is Figma or rather Framer Expert for you guys. Let's move on with the next one or the bonus website that I'm going to give you. So I know you're familiar with this one, Amy or Amy.so. For example, you have your to-do list, you have your email, you have your calendar all in one go. Imagine how efficient and organized is that? Because personally, I really love being organized. So if you check on here, for example, you'll see that everything is here. Your calendar, much like your to-do list, everything on this user interface. You can check your calendar in the front back. You have this one, the reminders. You have your emails in the lower back. And that is going to be Amy for you. All in one go. A tool where you can manage everything. From, from your day-to-day -day task, your management is very efficient. So that is going to be Amy for you. Anyway, those are the websites that I want to give you for today's video. So I hope you had fun. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.